Hello and welcome to TVC News at 10. Tonight, we are staying with the warning by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control to Nigerians, indicating that January 2021 will be tough. The reason for this caution is the increase in new cases of COVID-19 across the country. The NCDC says citizens have been seen during the Yuletide and holiday period disregarding the laid-down protocols concerning social gathering. It further stated that last week was the worst week ever since the beginning of the response to the pandemic because the country recorded more cases. The agency therefore urged Nigerians to brace up for the consequences of their actions as seen in the filling up of event centers and social facilities. Director General of the NCDC, Dr. Chikwe Hekwazu, disclosed this during the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 briefing in Abuja. Well, Dr. Chikwe Ikekwazu joins me now for more on this warning coming from the NCDC. Good evening and thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Doc, well, 1,031 new cases of coronavirus were recorded on the last day of 2020. And the NCDC has warned that January would be a tough month. Just how bad could it be? Thank both of you, good evening and happy new year to, you, to your viewers. Um, there's no doubt about it, we're now firmly in the second uh, wave of this pandemic here in Nigeria. And as we've seen over the last few days and weeks, Nigerians have, um, you know, like we do most of the time, this time of the year, gone back to our villages, our towns, our busy roads, our busy, you know, we really appeal to uh, communities to manage the level of engagement, enjoyment, uh, celebration that would happen this year because of the extraordinary year it has been. But um, we can also understand, um, the, you know, the urge to let go a little bit um, at the end of a very difficult year. The, the challenge is that the four that we fight, you know, this virus that we've been fighting, it's not an easy one. They really don't understand the necessities of humans to celebrate. And as we've come together, uh, we've seen the cases, you know, even before the actual Christmas and New Year season, continue to increase day on day, week on week. Here at the Nigeria uh, Center for Disease Control, we've continued to work uh, throughout the Christmas period. Work Our labs have been working together with our colleagues, partners at the states, the Lagos state, in the federal capital territory, States around the country, colleagues have been working very hard to uh, continue to measure the impact of this pandemic and continue to mitigate that. But, you know, like we can see from the numbers, it's a very tough task. And we will be, we're definitely in for, I think, the toughest month yet with this pandemic since the beginning, as a fallout of, you know, really activities over the Christmas and New Year period that we've seen people really come together in their numbers, in a scale uh, that is, uh, you know, we, we really hoped we would not see uh, oh, this year. Uh, but that's the reality of life. We've got to uh, face up with that and uh, face up with the January that is coming. Indeed, Dr. Ihekwaz, now the NCDC is aware of the various things Nigerians have been doing to flout the protocols. What exactly has been put in place to mitigate what would be the resultant effect of all of these actions by the resident? Yeah, Bosse, thank you very much. You know, this is really a time for all of us to understand that it's no longer just in the NCDC's hands or even in the presidential task force's hands. We are facing a major crisis and we've got to come together. So we've been appealing to people, to groups, to communities, over the past few months, we literally asking them to take responsibility. And we found out that those soft appeals basically, honestly, haven't worked. So we've asked the state government across the country to start implementing actual measures to ensure compliance. Um, we cannot achieve this just by appealing to the better conscience of citizens. The evidence 
is clear. We all want to restart our economy, but we cannot let this virus really run uh, amok in Nigeria. So we've been working with state governments. We've had a few announcements. We expect a few state governments to really start implementing very stringent measures uh, from the beginning of next year, uh, this year, I'm sorry, to start really <laughs> limiting the opportunities of people to gather. Uh, whether it's in the office, the workspaces, whether it's in social gatherings, in event centers, whether it's in religious places, um, we will start seeing activities by the state government. The federal government, through the PTF, has given them the guidance that they need, and now it is up to the state governments to take uh, the lead on the enforcement of this uh, guidance offered, because really the, uh, it is an existential threat for us right now in Nigeria. It's an existential threat for the economy. It's an existential threat for our way of life. We are working very hard here, uh, led by the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, to accelerate our access to vaccines. And but we will not get there for the next few months. So we've got to work very hard to keep the momentum of what we've done already. Okay, and the to onus please, of Dr. that Hikwe, relies so on the state governments to ensure that there's compliance among the citizens okay, for the guidance talk, that we've issued. Let's now talk about the vaccines. How far yeah. has Nigeria gone in acquiring these vaccines? How soon will they be available for use in the country? Yeah, so the, the, the reality is that this is a new vaccine, a new set of vaccines. We've just seen one new one added to the two that were already approved over the Christmas period. In Nigeria, the, uh, our colleagues at the National Primary Health Care Agency have been working through Christmas. We're part of the group, so, so is NAFDAQ and a few other relevant uh, federal government ministries and agencies, but they've been working through Christmas. I, I really admire the courage, energy, and determination of, of my brother, the executive director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, in pushing that we really are on the forefront of uh, uh, the procurement of these vaccines. We're doing this through a collaborative. And this is an amazing uh, group uh, situation where countries have come together, uh, organized by the World Health Organization, and two lead organizations, Gavi and CEPI. Through that, we anticipate to have about, there about 4 million, 40 million uh, doses, 40 million doses at some point within the first half of this year. We're still trying to get it uh, as early as possible. I can't offer a date because there's no date available yet but we're working very hard to make sure we have access to these vaccines and we prepare for the distribution of these vaccines. Right now, you can see around the world, even countries that have had millions of doses are struggling with the distribution. So one thing is the procurement of the vaccine. The other thing is the planning for the storage and distribution of these vaccines. And there's a working group led by MPHCK that's leading on this. And this work has gone on throughout the Christmas period. Because we know that access to that vaccine is our best chance of really ending this pandemic in Nigeria. All right. The discovery of a new variant of the COVID-19 of, of the virus actually saw countries in Europe and beyond ban flights from the United Kingdom. We know that in Nigeria, for instance, there have been tougher restrictions placed on dra uh, travelers from the UK and South Africa. Are you in any way considering suggesting to the government a ban on uh, flight from those countries, for instance? Yeah, so, you know, when, when we think about our objectives in uh, outbreak management, right, uh, we, we, we say, what is our goal and what tools do we have? You know, before countries started banning flights, we had one of the most stringent measures in the world. You know, the, the, post, the pre- and post-travel testing that we instituted months ago was one of the most strange that many common countries are now really copying what we had done. And so we believe that with these measures, if we strengthen them the way we're doing for people coming from the UK and South Africa at the moment, that that will be sufficient to mitigate some of the impact of this new strain. However, our understanding of both the epidemiology of this virus and the nature of travel between Nigeria and the UK, we think it is very likely that this strain is already circulating in Nigeria and in most other countries. As countries have begun to look, they've begun to find this 
virus right now in many other countries. So stopping flights now, country by country, we don't think will have any significant impact on transmission. So our strategy in mitigating the impact is in enforcing the already stringent measures that we've put in place for travelers between the UK and South Africa. We believe uh, this will be sufficient for our goal of limiting uh, the transmission of this new strain in Nigeria, recognizing that it's most likely that that strain is already uh, circulating in Nigeria, given the traffic between Nigeria and the UK. Mm. Director General, Nigeria Central for Disease Control, Dr. Chikwe Ihekwazu. Thank you for all you do, and thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Thank you, Bosede, and Happy New Year to all Nigerians. Thank you.